Hello, good morning, happy moon day. Um, so uh, I hope you had a wonderful weekend uh, with the new moon in Sagittarius and I hope that you had fun um, answering these journal questions, working with the eclipse energy or not working with the eclipse energy, um, seeing how you feel about that now that we've wrapped up um, or are wrapping up eclipse season. Um, we will move into, um, evaluating and reflecting on the year, um, later this month. I can't believe we are in the last month. We're in the last moon cycle of 2021. Um, so this week, uh, at the end of the week, we're in the first quarter phase. Um, so starting out today on Monday, we are just closing out our, our Capricorn time. Um, Capricorn energy, we're also, uh, we will be heading into Capricorn season in a couple weeks, uh, like on the 21st, on the winter solstice. So um, that energy is about, I mean, think about that time of year. Uh, in a couple weeks, we're going to be uh, going straight into the holidays and then we're going to start thinking about next year. We'll have the uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day celebrations. And that's when we're really starting to be like, wow, <laughs> it's a new year. It's a new day. So this is, we are approaching the new moon phase of the year. Um, so we're technically in like the waning crescent phase right now. Where this is a time that we should be... Um, slowing down, relaxing, but we don't always do that. And that's why a lot of us, myself included, burn out around this time of year because we're supposed to be going within. We're supposed to be slowing down. We're supposed to be planning and thinking about next year. Um, but most of us have like all of these things going on over the holidays that kind of has us running around like crazy for me personally my my business is usually busy around this time of year so i'm working hard and um most of us probably are depending on what you do you're closing out uh the end of the year so you're like trying to get things done um today is a good thing to do that type of thing because we are in capricorn um capricorn is, is the time for like uh setting achievements accomplishing things um, planning for the rest of the year, uh, uh, Capricorn likes to, ch likes to achieve. Um, so on Capricorn days, I always try to check things off my list, no matter what it is. I look at all the things that I have to do and I'm like, okay, what are the, the things that I can most certainly get done today? And I check them off and I try to get as much done as I can on that list. So uh, we're technically going to be in void, of course, for most of the day today. Um, uh, because we'll, we'll be in void, of course, we, meaning we're in between signs uh, for the, I think, like the late afternoon and evening. Um, for those of you on the West Coast or in, in the in the Midwest, like or the middle of the United States, you, you might be like later in the, later in the evening heading into the void of course cards. Um, so you might not really be feeling the Capricorn energy today because we're like right at the tail end of that energy. Uh, and then we'll be moving into Aquarius on Tuesday. So Aquarius time of year is immediately after Capricorn. It's the beginning of, um, or the middle of January to the middle of February. So that kind of, that's like we're, we're in the new year. We're trying out these new things. We're th seeing what's working out. So Aquarius energy is all about out of the box kind of thinking. Uh, Aquarius people, um, and I can say this because I have an Aquarius moon, tend to be kind of weird. Um, we're, it's almost like uh, Aquarius energy is like before their time. Like something that a weird Aquarius is doing right now 10 years from now will be the norm. Uh, we're just like, we, we think for some reason we're, we're connected to that, that energy, that air, air energy, wisdom, um, that is before our time. Um, sometimes, I mean, sometimes we just like to be quirky and weird. Um, 
so th th this time of, uh, during Aquarius time, I, I, I tend to do things because it's associated with the air element. I tend to try to do things that uh, stimulate my mind, get me thinking outside of the box. Um, so sometimes that might be meditating for me or other times it might be um, like trying to figure out a problem, like trying to solve a problem, figuring out like what's a, what's a different way of looking at this? What's a different way of thinking about this? Um, so that energy is Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Uh, and then we move into Pisces and uh, technically Friday is the, the mark of the first quarter, um, but we're still in that Pisces energy starting on Thursday. Um, so that is our selected box for the week. Uh, the keywords are create and dream uh, because first, uh, the beginning of the week we were in waning crescent where you're just, the light is just starting to increase. Um, and right and at the first quarter we have the right half of the moon is lit. Um, so that's like half illumination, quarter illumination. Um, what are you, what are you dreaming about for next year? Uh, if you had all the resources to accomplish anything, what would it be? And this is also really wonderful energy to be thinking about because Neptune recently just went direct last week uh, in Pisces. So Neptune is ruled by Pisces. It's in the sign of Pisces. This is really going to allow us to really dream big, dream big. Because um, that's what that's what uh, Pisces wants to do. Uh, and then the you you use the other energy uh like capricorn for helping you achieve those things um so the stone that i suggested oh i meant to pull it out i have i have kind of a dull piece of fluorite um the the stone that i that i recommended is rainbow fluorite this is i don't know this is like a bluish green kind of fluorite it's very very pale compared to some of the some of the fluorites that you see on the internet but um this is my i have two of them i can't seem to find the other one right now um i use this to meditate they actually grow in this cube form um so not only does that cube energy give you the grounded stability uh the dreamy kind of aspect of the rainbow fluorite motivates you to be your bravest self and encourages you to find the purpose in your life so this is a stone that i uh, tend to meditate with a lot to kind of help me find direction um, i recommended it for pisces because it does have that dreamy kind of energy but also the colors that are usually associated with rainbow fluorite they're like the blues and purples and greens, teals. Um, so it has a lot of uh, watery energy with it as well. So Friday, we are on the, the uh, first quarter officially uh, moving, and then we will move into Aries energy on Sunday. Um, so Sunday might be a good day for you to be planning and or taking action on things like getting all those last minute chores wrapped up for the weekend because uh, Aries energy is in spring, springtime when everything's like bursting with with energy, the plants are budding and everything. So um, Aries marking the first of the zodiac signs is a great time to be kind of starting something like maybe really kind of starting to take action. On whatever your new moon intentions were um, one of the boxes that I suggested for this week is what will what will you create and that's just kind of going along with that dreamy first quarter of uh, Pisces energy so oh I don't think I talked about the elements so today we're starting out uh, with Capricorn which is an earth sign then we're moving into air water and then at the at the on Sunday we're we're in fire. So all of the elements are represented this week, starting off with an earthy grounded foundation, uh, moving kind of up and getting getting your brain moving with the air energy, uh, getting some flow in with water energy, and then uh, activating and sparking some creativity with fire. Um, so the the. 2022 planner is still available. I finally went through all of them and found all of the mistakes. <laughs> Definitely not using this company again. 
Um, so we've, I've got quite a few, I've got, um, maybe five or six of the misprinted cover. So this is your opportunity to save money. If you, if you felt like the, the 40, 40, $40 price was a little bit too much for you. This is, I just, I just want to get rid of the misprinted cover and they, they are correct on the inside. Believe me, I have gone through every single page by page by page. So I've got a few of the misprinted covers left. Um, and then because they sent me new ones, I have, oh, what did I count? I just counted it. It's uh, 30, 32 or something like that. Of So quite a few <laughs> copies left if you, if you are still needing, needing to order and plenty of time to get it to you. Like the, the media mail takes, uh, three to five days uh, is what they say and so far all of everything has been within that three to five days like if you're I'm on the east coast so if you're on the west coast it's taking the five days the five business days um, so far I haven't seen any slow any slowdowns uh, with the mail on my end but I'm sure within within this week and next week that we're going to see things start slowing down so I recommend ordering this week if you haven't already um, oh, I was going to, so I've started posting the moon day card on Fridays. Uh, now that gives me the entire weekend to get through everybody and make sure that everybody gets a card. Um, so this is the deck that we are using for this week. If you haven't, um, if you haven't, uh, signed up to have a card, um, I'll just pull one for the collective and uh, that will be just kind of a fun thing that we can do on these Moon Day videos, too. Alrighty, Spirit, can we have a card for this first quarter Moon Week for the Collective? On this, oops, one just popped out. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. I love that for collective energy. Um especially around the holidays, we kind of tend to like, like really zone in on me, 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 like I, I want to, or like just on your family. I think it's really important that we always gain a, a higher perspective, like Eagle Spirit is reminding us to do around this time of year. And remember that to be kind to everybody, um, that not everybody is okay this time of year. I am so grateful that I got my mental health issue worked out before because I would probably not be okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm feel good when I'm okay enough to help somebody else. That's like when I'm, <laughs> when I'm doing good. Um, so just remember that not everybody's okay. If someone's being rude to you at the store, they, they might not be doing okay. They might be battling something that is beyond our, our grasp. So let's see what eagle spirit has additional any additional methods look at things from a different angle fly higher and see new possibilities in animal medicine both native american and celtic the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun he is a powerful strong and courageous guide who is able to see for miles he approaches all things with intelligence grace and poise and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. This is excellent and an excellent card for waxing crescent and first quarter energy. Because a lot of times when, especially like for me personally, when I first started following the moon, I felt this pressure of like, I have to start things on the new moon. Like I had to like do it. And I finally learned that like I didn't have the energy around the new moon. The new moon is about just like germinating and thinking about these ideas, planting the seeds. The first quarter and after is really the time when you're actually starting to take action on it. So still using some of this week, I mean the Pisces energy to dream, um, Aquarius energy to kind of like Think of new different ways to go about things. Gain your higher perspective with the Eagle Spirit too. Um, 
because I used to feel so pressured. I would, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself and I know I'm not the only one that does that. Um, I would just be like, oh, you didn't start it exactly on the day of the new moon. And it's like, you're not supposed to, like, I, I didn't have the energy for a reason. So when the ego card appears in a reading, it shows that you have a real ability to take things higher and to move beyond the limitations of your ego and your selfish desires. And this is another thing to bring up about this time of year because people are stressed out and it's just like, take the higher road. Don't be like argue, taking the bait and arguing with some stranger. Um, that's when you see those crazy videos of people fighting over things in the store and it's just like, <laughs> take the higher road, go, walk above it. It's unnecessary. It's, it's a waste of energy. Use your energy to uh, create and make your life the best it can be and, and uh, be the best person version of yourself that you can be. So the extended message is, ego medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or vision may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are, there are other people involved, you are being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you are feeling the need for something to change, how can you take the higher road? Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Ego medicine can help you change this. The ego brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love. So I'm kind of feeling called to see if I can find Father. Oh, he's right here. Yeah, so... Same eagle is in here with Father Sky. Uh, in this deck, uh, there's um, the masculine and femi feminine energies of the divine. The Sky Father is represented as the masculine one. Um, so really cool energy for for um, for us this week. Take the higher road. Uh, stay stay focused on your intentions and try to stay as positive as you can and um, just enjoy this month. I think this month is going to be about reflection and um, yeah, a lot of reflection and reflection and then uh, gaining a perspective and an idea about what we want to what we want to go into for 2022. Um, so thank you guys so much. I will see you next week for our, our, God, for the full moon week, right? Yeah, 13th through the, through the 19th. Um, time is going by way too fast. Um, so if, again, if you haven't ordered already, please do order 2022. I will be going at the end of this month, um, sometime maybe like, like mid, like the first week of January, I'm going to be going through the group and removing people like some people just wanted to join to see what, how they felt about the planner. And I am totally fine with that, but I would like to keep this a very intimate group. If you don't have your 2022 planner, I will be, um, kind of reaching out to everybody to see, um, just to keep the group intimate and have it be just focused on the planner. Uh, cause we always have the, the just a phase Facebook page that, that you're welcome to post and contribute to and follow. Uh, so that you're able to get all the information that you need. Whereas the group is just going to be more intimate so that people feel comfortable sharing, uh, sharing their journey um, and uh, on a more personal level. So that will, I'll be uh, cleaning out the group. So make sure that, make sure that you order your planner and it's, it's a sliding scale. You can't, I can't get any lower than what I'm offering for the misprinted one. And I can't, um, I really, um, <laughs> I really need to like make the money back that I, that I lost with all the, the publishing issues. So, um, <laughs> thank you so much. I'll be back. I'll be back, um, next Monday, but look out on Fridays. Now I'm going to be posting the card of the week uh, or the deck of the week. 
um, so that I'm able to get to everybody. So thank you so much for your support. I, I hope to see you in the group and uh, have a good week.